Selena Gomez, a superstar who began her journey in the industry as a child actor on the PBS hit show Barney and Friends in 2002, then moved on to other roles in series and films such as Spy Kids 3, Game Over, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Hannah Montana and more, leading to her booking the lead role of Alex Russo on the Disney Channel show Wizards of Waverly Place, where she established herself and while on the network besides taking on other acting roles, she ventured into music and even formed a band. Selena Gomez and the Scene, which broke her through into the music industry with hits such as Naturally, Love You Like a Love Song and more, carving her path into a successful music career as she went on as a soloist with hit songs such as The Heart Wants What It Wants, Come and Get It, Lose You to Love Me, Good For You featuring ASAP Rocky, It Ain't Me with Kaigo and more. But with so much music released, what about the other songs from her discography? Deep cuts that didn't get a chance at the single treatment, songs that didn't get a moment to shine or what about the songs that show a different side of Selena? That's why today I will be highlighting 10 underrated songs by Selena Gomez including songs from her time as Selena Gomez and the scene. 10. Cut You Off a pop and R&B song that has this sort of classic throwback sound with the lyrics of Selena letting you into her thoughts as she states she's gonna leave this relationship because it's dragging her down, of something she thought was love at first but now realizes it was nothing more but a disguise of hurt and wasted time. The bridge in the song's got a great guitar solo moment that leaves you lost in the music giving this sort of peace one feels when cutting a negative person out of their life. And the way Selena sings the word you specifically adds a nice touch in the chorus. This is also a song that would work great in a bar scene in a show where the characters are discussing something or while one character is chilling after an unexpected event. Either way, it's got a great sound and complements Selena's voice in a new way that fits her really well. Number 9 Vicio the fifth song of Selena's Spanish EP, Revelación, which is about being in love with someone who made you believe in love again. The song has a vibe production mixed with reggaeton, and although this isn't Selena's first time singing in Spanish, this EP showcases just how much Selena has evolved since her earlier days, and it will be great to hear her continue making more music in Spanish. 8. We Own the Night featuring Pixie Lot a song with a classic vibe that makes it sound timeless, which Selena revealed in a track by track video for Billboard that this was her mom's favorite song, which is why I made it on the album when the sun goes down, and later on it became one of Selena's favorites who thought this was a beautiful song. It's basically about living life to the fullest with somebody who makes life enjoyable. Although it may not have been discussed, I think this would have been a great last single for When the Sun Goes Down. Also, Pixie, who co wrote the song, her vocals in the song, especially during parts of the chorus, really add something special to it. 7. Undercover A dance electro pop song about being with someone secretly. Besides Selena expressing the secret and excitement aspect of the lyrics with her voice, in the verses in the song, there is a build up going towards the chorus, giving this sense of thrill one feels when you're getting closer and closer to being with that secret person. Then the chorus goes off with a beat drop of loudness, since there's no need to hide anymore now that it's just the two of us. A fun tongue in cheek energetic song that will instantly get you wanting to dance, and it's also a great song to add in a playlist filled with dance pop songs. 6 Off The Chain A synth dance pop song with a wintry feel about having love for someone that instantly has made you feel happier just by calling your name, a rare feeling that doesn't happen just with anyone, and being with them is something that is hard to explain other than it's out of this world. Which Selena's voice and the production beautifully creates this happy fantasy world that feels almost mystical. The song also includes small details like Selena whispering in the beginning of the song, and there's even a guy's voice present, Tim James, a rock mafia, one of the co writers and producers of the song, singing off the chain, adding a nice depth into the song. Though it wasn't a single, it's definitely a song that should be highlighted, and it's also a song that I think would have made a great visual. 5. I Promise You A young in love pop rock song about making a promise to someone who you're in love with, letting them know regardless of what people say or what obstacles come between you, we will make it through. The song's got a youthful like production with a catchy guitar melody added that not only will be good in a coming of age type of movie, but it's also a song that captures the essence of a good 2000s classic pop rock love song. 4. Ghost of You A haunting produced ballad about the struggle of moving on from an ex even though you moved on with your life. And the only thing you can do at this point is hope that one day you're able to let go so you won't have this lingering feeling for them anymore. Selena's voice not only sounds beautiful with the production, but she does a nice job expressing the meaning of the words, which brings a lot more impact to the lyrics. 
Not only that, but Selena Gomez and The Scene also recorded a Spanish version of Ghost of You that got released in the Target edition of When the Sun Goes Down. And before we get to the last three, here's some honorable mentions. Sober, Stars Dance, Rock God, Middle of Nowhere, and I Won't Apologize. 3. Out of My Hands, parentheses Local A dance pop song with Latin influence, which is about letting someone who you know probably isn't right for you, and though you are aware of this, you can't help yourself so you make them the exception, even knowing what could happen. That goes well with the instrumental of just going with the fun while your intuition says the opposite. What you hear in this song is Selena sings, Oh Oh I Know You're Local symbolizing her intuition that he is a red flag. So this is a bonus track originally released on the Target edition and International Deluxe edition of Selena's album Revival, then later got released on the Revival Anniversary Deluxe box set. So usually these songs do get overlooked, which is understandable since this is a bonus track, but I will say there are moments like this song where the songs are hidden gems. And this is a song right here that should have been on the standard version of Revival. Too Vulnerable, a pop song that is a vibe with a dark atmospheric experience that fits well with the message about staying true to oneself whether they accept it or not, and if not, then they won't be in your life anymore. The song also features a great music breakdown that almost has this tribal-like feel, enhancing the experience, and when going back to the chorus as the music is slightly gone, Selena adds more passion as she sings the part, I'll stay vulnerable, making it clear that this is her and she's not going to be something that she's not. Which then the music returns with adding new details of Selena singing in the background as she sings the chorus again, ending the song perfectly in a way that brings the whole song together nicely. One Souvenir, a dark chill pop song that suddenly projects the message of the lyrics being in this romantic fantasy state with someone who takes your breath away and Selena's voice not only fits his production but she has that feeling one feels when being mesmerized by someone. Which if you're a fan of her songs Fetish, Bad Liar, and even her unreleased song Stain that were meant for her original SG2 album, rumored to be called Seven Heavens, this is definitely a song that you won't want to miss. Also, it's a great song that shows Selena's artistry. Which if you're interested, I did do a deep dive on that scrapped concept which you can watch right here. So that's the end of this list which was really hard because I wanted to also add me in the rhythm, when the sun goes down, cologne, and even ring. But I guess it just shows how many great deep cuts Selena has in her discography. So did any of your favorite Selena songs end up on this list? And what is one of your favorite Selena songs that you feel is underrated? You can share it down below in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.